After some early and positive success with the capacity on my lithium iron 18650s, I've been asked so many times to come up with a 12 volt solution. Uh, there are so many applications for 12 volt batteries that I'm looking at a solution that has a, a safety component to it. Not to say that lithium iron is incredibly unsafe, but the thermal runaway characteristics of lithium iron phosphate are far much better for when you're using. Uh, maybe home storage uh, uh, batteries or perhaps under the bonnet or the hood of a car. And the other advantage uh, as well as the chemistry of lithium iron phosphate is that uh, four of these connected in series give you a beautiful 12.8 nominal volts, the same as a car battery. And with a, a balanced charger you're in business. My only difficulty is that like most lithium chemistries lithium ion chemistries they're not very good at giving up the amps and one of the crucial parts of a battery inside a car is to be able to crank the engine and the cold cranking amps certainly in my own car uh, the battery is rated at 800 uh, the cold cranking amps of these things tend to be nowhere near that so the first step is to find out just what the scale of the challenge is by cold cranking my uh, my motor car and seeing what the maximum peak current draw is from the battery when that is happening. So here we have the digital clamp meter on the uh, positive terminal. Down here I've got a high speed camera filming at 240 frames a second. It will go up to a, a thousand frames a second but this thing only updates uh, itself uh, three times a second. So now uh, I'll get, get this started and we can uh, start the engine. I'll stop that and we can take a look at this in uh, high speed film and slow it down and see what the peak was. Right, this is the, uh, this is the video, uh, three, uh, 240 frames a second. Um, I'll zip through and try and get to the point where the meter starts to kick in. It's showing 8 amps, I perhaps should have zeroed that out before starting, but we know we need to take 8 amps off the total. Um, 8 amps, 8 amps, when does the engine start? Okay, oh, there we go, 244, something before that, 340, before that, 9 amps. So it's gone from 8 to 9, to 340, to 2, 44, and then 67, and down to 19. Okay, so it peaked, it looks like at 340 amps. Well, we have to take 8 off for that, but if we say 340 for the sake of simple arithmetic, then at 340 amps, uh, 12 volts, about 4 kilowatts. Now, it's a very warm day at 27 degrees centigrade, so I'll run this test again in a few months in the dead of winter and see what happens then. Now, just a reminder, it's a 2.2 litre uh, diesel engine, uh, and at 340 amps, my life lithium iron phosphate may stand a chance, but... My guess is it'll have to be somewhere around about the 500 amps to take care of uh, cold weather starting in bigger engines. Now you can click on the video link on the screen to see an unboxing of the clamp meter as well as some alternatives. And if you found the video useful, please give me a thumbs up.